In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Good morning, brothers and sisters. It's a joyful day to be at this beautiful holy ground at the cemetery Our Lady Queen of Peace, where 10 years ago hosted an amazing ministry of claiming the body of those who had no one to claim them. And without the Diocese of Palm Beach, and without the endurance, the perseverance, the tenacity, the love, the compassion of Our Lady Queen of Peace Cemetery, this project, this ministry would have never seen the light. And one of the most important things about this ministry is preserving, confirming, asserting the dignity of the human being in the most compassionate way. And that's why we started the ministry with the compassionate crypt of Joseph of Arimathea. Because Joseph went to claim the body of Christ. And it is our ministry to take care of the body because the body is the temple. Our ministry is not to judge their behavior. Our ministry is to show the mercy of and love of God. And as the most beautiful picture in front of us today, Jesus standing with the light, welcoming and giving light and delight to those who lost their light in life. And he said, Jesus, in you I trust. And today I say, Jesus, in you I trust that you have given us 10 years of our lives to care to adopt, to make a difference, and to touch people in their final moments. Today we are celebrating the life of 171 and clean bodies. 55 of them, I was honored and blessed to take care of them during the pandemic at JFK Medical Center. We are all called to one very important thing, to live a blessed life, as we will see in the gospel today and Sunday on the Feast of All Saints, the Sermon on the Mount, the Beatitudes, the attitudes of every and each one of us to care for the body of the self and the body of others. And in trust, my brothers and sisters, many of them are not Catholic. And that's the beauty of Our Lady Queen of Peace Cemetery embracing, welcoming, because we are all children of God. As I was sharing with Cecilia from Catholic Florida, I said, the 171 that their names will be mentioned today, everyone by name, because we have to call the name, the importance of the name, are good people. It's their behavior that alienated them. And God does not look at the behavior. God looks at the heart. We don't know. We don't know what they went through. And just only to tell you how the mercy of God is so beautiful, Michael Moriarty, a homeless that was on a wheelchair, was found by amazing human being, Kathleen and her husband, a year ago, and found him in the parking lot of McDonald's on a wheelchair, homeless, veterans served the nation during Vietnam. The gift that they received, they shared it with me and with us. I signed for him. But the beauty, the beauty of Michael Moriarty is that she asked him, they asked him, are you Catholic? He said, yes. Would you like to go to confession? And they had a priest, Father Jose, with them. You see how God gives us gifts, the 171 that we are celebrating the life. And the thousand before them over the last 10 years that we have been celebrating them 
I, Father Gabriel, humbly say, I'm blessed and honored to call them my brothers and sisters. I signed for their cremation, so I became responsible, emotional proxy, spiritual proxy, and legal proxy. Those are the gift. Everyone that comes to your life, my brothers and sisters, is a gift. Don't look at their behavior. Their behavior comes from two sources either love or pain. But the essence of every human being that we are celebrating today, God sees them. And that's why I say, Jesus, in you I trust. Welcome them into your eternal place. And help us in those moments to preserve the dignity, to love the brothers and sisters, independent of their faith, as the Sermon on the Mount said, blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Can we, today, tomorrow, after tomorrow, and every day we be peacemaker? And the peacemaker has the good heart, has the good eyes, has the good ears, has the good hands. And the peacemaker always will do the two most important commandments that we heard last Sunday. Love God with your whole mind, your whole heart, and your whole strength, your neighbor as yourself. So by loving them, they allow me to see the mirror in me, to love myself, to be able to love one another as God loves us. It's an honor. The ministry could have not been completed without Our Lady Queen of Peace without Anna and her team, and of course the administrator, Dan. So we are all honored today, but also there is another person that very important in the program from Palm Beach Human Services, Adriana Gorgondola and Magda Reyes, that they bring to our awareness, to my awareness, every and each one, not only saying they are indigenous, we don't have families, but many of them have stories. And they touch our heart. And today we are honored to celebrate them. We trust them to Jesus in you, I trust. We trust them to the loving mercy of God, to welcome them. And we pray that now that uh, they are in the light, relief from their suffering and pain, and they are whole again that they will be able to reconnect with their loved ones that are still around so they can find us to tell them we took care of your loved ones. That's our ministry. Love one another as I have loved you. Is it difficult task in the times in which we are living? But when the heart is filled with mercy and compassion, we look at the essence and the dignity. And the essence and the dignity is in the image of God. We trust them today and we pray and grateful for all those who have donated their time, talents to make this ministry alive. And now that we have today Anna, 171 more in eternity will be vouching for us and looking after our ministry. Please pray for them, pray for us, and pray for what we do. Beloved, we believe that all the ties of family, friendship, and affection which knit us as one throughout our lives do not unravel with death, confident in God's mercy and that God always remembers the good we have done. God always remembers the good we have done. They have done good and forgive our sins. Let us pray, asking God together, the 171 members of his holy body into eternal life. Lord our God, the death of our beloved brothers and sisters, recall our human conditions and the brevity of our lives on earth. But for those who believe in your love, death is not the end, nor does it destroy the bonds that you forge in our lives. We share the faith of your son's disciples and the hope of the children of God. Bring the light of Christ's resurrection to this time of testing and pain 
as we pray for the 171 that their names will be mentioned in a moment. And you know their names because you knew them before conception, before they came to the world and you loved them. And for those who love them, especially those who are gathered here and all those who cared for them, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now the reading will be the second reading from the letter of St. Paul to Timothy. I fought the good fight, finished the race, kept the faith. <clears throat> A reading from the second letter of Paul, St. Paul to Timothy. For I am already being poured out like a drink offering, and the time has come for my departure. I have fought the good fought, fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 23 depicts really the last two verses. Only goodness and kindness will follow me. Your response will be, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Together, the Lord, Lord is, is my shepherd, shepherd. There, there is, is nothing, nothing I, I shall, shall want. want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord, the Lord is, is my shepherd, shepherd. there is There's nothing, nothing I, I shall want. want. He guides me in right paths for his namesake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord, Lord is my shepherd, shepherd. There, there is, is nothing, nothing I shall want. want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord, Lord is my shepherd, shepherd. There, is there is nothing I shall want. want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord, the Lord is, is my, my shepherd, shepherd. There, there is nothing, nothing I shall want. And now the proclamation of the gospel, the Alleluia. Mm -hmm. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up to the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciple came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who, who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger, and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my name. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Just adding to the beauty of the service today, one line from the Sermon on the Mount. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. How can I live a blessed life? By leading and becoming and cultivating peace in our life. If my brothers and sisters that we are celebrating them today, the 171, didn't have conflicts, 
we would have not been here today celebrating their life on behalf of their families. And I can tell you stories after stories of the 55 of them. One of them is Barbara Seed, that I took care of her, gave her the anointing. She had COVID at JFK. After giving her the sacrament, she transitioned to eternal life, 85 years of age. Didn't find family for her. We became the family. Everyone can become a family. What separates us from being a family, whether we have peace or we don't have peace. And that's the peace, and that's the beauty of Our Lady, Queen of Peace. Only goodness and kindness come back to Michael, come back to Barbara, I can tell you all the names. Anyone would have judged them. Imagine Michael homeless, served the Vietnam War, struggling. His wheelchair became his cross, that you crossed his path. They were looking for someone else by the name of Larry, found him, took care of him. We can do that. But what we are lacking of doing the good and seeing the good is that the heart is filled with everything except peace. Only goodness and kindness will follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. Thanks to Kathleen and her husband, they brought today 171 roses and flowers that we wanted to put them on each one of them. But they are guiding us the fragrance. Their fragrance continue because God really so their hearts, though their pain, that we, because we have not allowed our heart to be open, to be welcoming, to be embracing, we need to face it, to embrace it in order to grow from it. My brothers and sisters, today we celebrate you, and today in your proximity with the light, you will celebrate us by sending the light Jesus, in you I trust, and we trust that you will welcome them. You know their heart, you know their story, you know their life. Like the thief on the cross, the last moment said, remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. We entrust them as a community of believers. Welcome them, embrace them, bring them to the wholeness, because we are all responsible to preserve the dignity not of the unborn, but those who have been born, but really have not been loved. Not only from conception to natural death, to preserve the dignity all the time. Last point, little did I know that the new mausoleum, that there will be a place to find a rest, is the mausoleum of Mother Teresa. What else I can say? You see how she loved the poor. She loved the destitute. And she said one thing that I will never forget. Two things. The first, she said, the greatest disease in the world is not HIV, is loneliness. How can we, believer, end the loneliness by bringing togetherness? And the second, she said, on a daily basis, you can have the Bible in your hand, taken from Matthew 25. Whatever you did, the least of my brethren, you did it to me. Every day, look at your hand. Did I touch people with the Bible? You did it to me on his behalf. Or that hand hurt people because we have been hurt by people. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Dan. Thank you to everyone here. And now, the tradition has always been, after each name we say, I love you, but because of the time and the 171, Anna and Jill will be saying the name. I will say, after the first one, I love you. And then in your heart, once the name is mentioned, say, I love you. Because what they were longing for is love.
And then I will bless them with the holy water. Lawrence. I love you. John. I love you. Donald. Love you. Gary. I love you. Michelle. I love you. Barbara. I love you. Richard. I love you. Ginger. I love you. Baby boy I love you. Michael. I love you. Helen. I love you. Judy. I love you. I love you. Irma. I love you. Jerry. I love you. Barrington. I love you. Gregory. I love you. Deborah. I love you. Stephen. I love you. Lisa. I love you. Louise. I love you. Baby girl Erica. I love you. Baby boy I love you. Laura. I love you. Gregory. I love you. Danny. I love you. Thomas. I love you. Robert. I love you. Jose. I love you. Marion. I love you. I love you. Steve. I love you. George. I love you. Marie. I love you. Lee. I love you. Evelyn. I love you. Loretta. I love you. Rita. I love you. Suzanne. I love you. Donald. I love you. Jean. I love you. Larry. I love you. Richard. I love you. Victor. I love you. Deborah. I love you. Now. I love you. Francisco. I love you. Charles. I love you. 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 Michael. I love you. Sophie. I love you. Saul. I love you. Rudolph. I love you. Istvan. I love you. Robert. I love you. Jeffrey. I love you. Thomas. I love you. Randall. I love you. Raul. I love you. Derek. I love you. Arlene. I love you. Wilson. I love you. William. I love you. Mary. I love you. Cristobal. I love you. Felisco. I love you. Johnny. I love you. James. I love you. Julianne. I love you. Roberta. I love you. James. I love you. Timothy. I love you. Susan. I love you. George. I love you. Edward. I love you. Adam. I love you. Jane. I love you. Stephen. I love you. Richard. I love you. John. I love you. Carl. I love you. Vivian. I love you. Toby. I love you. Bradley. I love you. Tracy. I love you. Pierre. I love you. Rose. I love you. Alice. I love you. Helen. I love you. Michael. I love you. Parrish. I love you. Brandy. I love you. Trion. I love you. Dorothy. I love you. Norman. I love you. Marie. I love you. Tony. I love you. Brenda. I love you. Ismael. I love you. Diana. I love you. Bernal. I love you. Leroy. I love you. John Doe. I love you. Jane Doe. I love you. Ralph. I love you. Carrie. I love you. Anne. I love you. Linda. I love you. Kevin. I love you. Leo. I love you. May. I love you. Fred. I love you. Charles. I love you. And John Doe. I love you. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our beloved brothers and sisters that their names were called and you know their names. May our farewell express our affection for them. 
May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet them again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Into your hands, Father of mercies and compassion, we commend our brothers and sisters that their names were mentioned, and you know their names, each one. In the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ Jesus, they will rise again with him on the last day. Lord God, you are attentive to the voice of our supplication. Let us find in your Son comfort in our sadness, certainty in our doubt, and courage in to live through this hour. Make our faith strong through Christ our Lord. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and their families and listen to their prayers. Open the gates of paradise for my brothers and sisters and help them who, and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ Jesus and are with you and with our brothers and sisters forever we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them forever. May you rest in peace. May the Lord bless your families as they have been longing to belong and all of you. May the mercy of God and his love and mercy and compassion to bless you, comfort you, comfort their loved ones and families, and wipe every tear from our eyes and their eyes. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Tradition has been that I kiss every and each one, but because of the time, I will kiss one, and there will be that ripple effect. Love you.